and welcome back from a Memorial Day holiday. And this is June 1st, 8.30 a.m., your morning flash update. Uh, I took the weekend off, had fabulous parties. First time we've had a lot of people over. And uh, vaccines, all done, no masks. It was uh, like a coming out party. What can I tell you? I'm tired as can be. <laughs> in any case, <clears throat> you know, you go away for a three-day holiday in America, you come back and it's a whole new world. Stock market up nearly 300 points in the Dow. You're up 24 points in the S&P. The question is, will the market be able to take out the May high? Second question, we have looming in the background the jobs data report. And that jobs data report, is it going to be a bad number? It's going to be good. What makes a good and bad number? Second part, are they going to revise that terrible number we saw last month? Or does it stand? Energy markets exploding to the upside. Doesn't look yet like a deal is done with Iran. The IEA and OPEC both say that we're going to be in a very tight supply issue. So here we are in August, Brent, $71. You know, this is a high area, no question about it. Will it be able to stay there? Don't know. I, I did a show uh, yesterday. I was on, actually it was uh, Monday, yeah, yesterday, you know, you, you get nutty here, in uh, BNN TV in Canada. And yes, I did do a show in the morning. And to make a long story short, they were asking obviously about this. And I said, I, I think 71's a high number, but I, I don't think you're going to 100 on this run, anything like that. And I think that what will happen here is you're getting a lot of restraint from American producers. They are really throwing money back to their shareholders. They're taking down their balance sheets. They're spending somewhere between 25 and 50% of what they take in on old wells, replacing them with new wells in the fracking part of it, but not exploding much there. Look at the grains. You know, if the grain market, you walk in on a day like today, anything can happen. Why do I say that? Because it's all about weather at this time. Did they get enough weather? Did they get rain? No. You, you can see what's going on. You don't need me to tell you that. That's what goes on there. Dollar down slightly. Gold and silver. Silver's gaining back on the gold rather sharply today. Very quiet day in copper. But, you know, copper to me looks like a $5 commodity coming down the road. OPEC <clears throat> sources are saying that uh, they've agreed to keep oil production policy through July. So you get another 30 days of this, and that's why you're up $2. Add to that, maybe no deal with Iran. Market groups, uh, Eurozone manufacturing PMI, this is a strong number. 63.1 from uh, April 62.1 and ahead of forecast at 62.8. Jobless rate, 8%. Uh, coming down slightly, not a lot, but you're going to see that number slip there too. Eurozone May CPI number rose two, to 2% ahead of the April pace of 1.6. And what do you think their number is? They're looking at 2% inflation rate. That's what they want, just like our bank. Now, here's something bad again out of China. Um, China's saying that uh, their health commission reported the first human confirmed case of bird flu. What's going on there? Well, why are all these things happening? And in a move to stop the rise of the Wan, China's uh, People Bank of China, they're going to raise their reserve ratio to 7% from 5%. That's a 40% increase. That'll start sort of cap this rise that they're getting. Is a currency manipulation? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any way you want to go about it, it's currency uh, manipulation. You know, one of the things that if you're a spider ETF trader, in the mornings, like I'm going to finish this now. And when I finish, I'm going to then go and record my morning spider ETF video. So right after this, that's what I do every morning. And I'll cover all the action that's there. I've already done the futures one. I talk long term, short term, weekends. While I didn't do for here on YouTube anything over this weekend, I do the weekly charts. People pay me. I don't miss it. Freebies. I took the weekend off. Uh, and you're looking at how I cover things, the news events, just like you're seeing here. I cover all these markets and more, and more. 41 charts right now. I was counting them the other day. $8.95 for the first 30 days, $16 after that. You can buy a one-year subscription and get a break on all those prices, and I think you'll find that worthwhile. Just go to our website. Under the word research, it explains everything. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a great day.